So I'm just going to walk down the road and just show you what's going on. It's awfully dark here, so that the cars are still here. There's police officers there. And down there. live right now. We got another news broadcaster there. We got some neighbors, onlookers, and we got the cops right there. I can tell you when I first got here they had a line with a do not cross on it and uh, now it just looks like they're They've taken that down now on that side where I had to walk back. But we do have some officers here. We're having to park far away and bring our equipment up, so this is where I think I was before. They wouldn't let me get back here, but now they're, they've are they taken everything down and let us back through here, but there's still a lot of, well, a few police cars present, but nothing major. This is where I was originally, but they wouldn't let me cross. I had to walk all the way around on Price just to get back here, which is kind of odd, don't you think, that they take the uh, do not cross tape down. I don't know who told us, but somebody told us that they are probably going to be coming here to tow the Mustang. Looks like some of the news reporters are starting to pack up now. But there's the truck. There's the house. And then there is the Mustang in question. People are speculating that nobody's home. But that window right there on the side of the house, I'll put my finger up right there was open yesterday when we were here and it is all closed up and everything appears to be off which doesn't mean a whole lot because it looked like nobody was home yesterday either and obviously somebody has been there to close those blinds. We still have quite the crowd around here. So I'm gonna get out of my way.